to ask our Lord, and especially our, our Blessed Mother, today is the Feast of the Assumption, she is in heaven with Jesus, so we ask for intercession from them, because they are there, they see the face of God, and so our response will be, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us. us. St. John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray, pray for us. us. Saints Peter and St. Paul, pray, pray for us. Saints Joachim and Anne, pray, pray for us. Saint Winifred, pray for us. Saint Paul on the cross, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Teresa, pray, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray, pray for us. Saint Marie, pray, pray for us. us. All holy men and women, pray, pray for us. us. Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race, rescued from darkness, into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make her the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in her, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name, in the, excuse me, in the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child, Lila Marie, by water and the Holy Spirit. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring her up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in her day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then, mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which children are baptized. And I, I, at this time, all of us can renew our baptismal promises at this time. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan I do. and all his works I do. and all his empty show? I do. I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do, believe. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. This is our faith. 
This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. So, Jeremy and Teresa, it is, is it your will, therefore, that Lila Marie should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all just professed with you? After baptism, there is another anointing with the sacred chrism, which is the very uh, beautiful, sweet-smelling oil that is consecrated by the bishop on Holy Thursday. It really signifies the fact that Lila Marie is now a temple of the Holy Spirit, which dwells within her, and that she also shares in the kingly mission of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king unto eternal life. become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk, all, may walk always as a child of the light and, preserving, persevering in the faith, excuse me, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. Amen. We do have a prayer 